Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how you are placing your Avon order online. Now this is the desktop version, so if you don't have a laptop or a computer that you can use, you will need to um, view the other video which shows you how to do it from a mobile device or tablet. So the first thing you're doing is once you've logged on to your Avon website, you need to click onto your page uh, which is on the left hand side it will say here place an order for the purposes of this training uh, mine is slightly different because it's a sales leadership page but you would click here and place an order or you use the second tab and drop down and click place an order here this will then take you to your order page okay if you've previously got a saved order you will see that it will appear here under saved orders. For this, we haven't got a saved order, so all I will need to do is click start my order. The next bit here, it does actually tell you the six steps that you need to do in order to submit your order. Okay, You first of all select the campaign that you're ordering from, which is this drop down list here. Now as you know, we can either order from the current brochure that we're in or the previous brochure. So each brochure lasts six weeks. You can see here at the top that I'm on campaign three at the moment. So I know that any orders will be on campaign three unless I've given previous books out. The next bit is to type in the product number and it's a five digit product number whether that's from the sale brochure, the normal brochure or the first look brochure you enter that five digit product code in there. You then add the quantity and then you can click the magnifying glass which defaults and shows you what the product code is. Now just for the purposes of this training I'm just quickly going to type in um, a wrong product number so that I can show you what happens if it's incorrect for any reason. So you put the five digit product code in and you click the magnifying glass and it's saying this product is not available. So what you would do now is click on a magnifying glass on a separate piece, uh, on a separate line, and then you can enter the code in, uh, sorry, you can enter the description in here. This will allow you then to search. So I'm looking for order forms. And order forms for me as a sales leader is here. So I can either take that code there and put that into the page or I can put the quantity in here of what I want to order and click add to order. If I want to go ahead and search for another item, I can put in here. So say you know that your customer likes something with coconut in it um, and you're not sure what the other words are they've written on the order form, you just type coconut in there. That will then bring up a list of every single coconut item in there. To close it down, you just click the green close button. So I'm going to show 52837 is one of the product codes that we can have. And I'm going to click the magnifying glass and you'll see that it shows what product it is. If you're happy with all those items, you need to click on save order. But the top one here is still unavailable. We're not going to be able to save that. So we need to click the little tick box that says delete. Once you've clicked save order, it then shows you here that your order has been updated. Scroll down to where it says saved orders here. Click the green plus button and it shows you what you have saved in there. Now, once you've entered this page, you can see at the bottom you need to enter your, uh, sorry, you need to order your brochures. Now you'll see three options. You'll be able to order the current number brochures, the next number of brochures and the ones after. Now, if you're a brand new representative, you will need to order your next brochures and you will also need to order the ones after. If you are an established representative, so you, it's not your first order, you've done a couple of orders, I would suggest ordering the ones in red, but always make sure you've got the previous ones anyway. The ones in red allow you to advance order your brochures so that you've always got brochures in when you're placing an order and you're not waiting until your delivery comes to order those items. The next thing you need to do is click the green continue button. This will then take you to a page where you can view your brochures and your first look book. And again, if you click the drop down list here, you can see that you can select campaign two and view those.
To view the brochures at any point, you just click on them and it opens them up so you can select products from the pages individually. Click continue on this page once you've added anything extra that you want to put in to your order. It's then a little bit of a checklist. Have you ordered brochures? Have you ordered your campaign products? Have you ordered any demos from the first look book? Have you ordered your sales tools? Any offers? Have you submitted your credits? And have you submitted any replacements? So at this point, you need to check this page to make sure that you have done everything that you needed to do. This then tells you what sales you've achieved so far this campaign. Obviously during a campaign you can submit as many orders as you like and for the purposes of this training I've already submitted a £182 order so I've already got um, my maximum level of discount earned. Now if you haven't for any reason it will tell you how much more you need to sell in order to reach that level of discount. Again under the saved orders it shows you what items you have saved. The next little bit you just need to put order information. This is the amount of customer orders you have. So say you have 10, you will put a number 10 in there. This next bit here is opting in for customer leads. This needs to be ticked as yes. This basically is saying that you're happy for Avon to auto allocate customers to you from the website with your store. This is just, you, you have to you know you have to do this uh, without doing this you're not going to get orders allocated so you're potentially missing out on orders this is going to be a great way for you to get new customers so once you've done this page you then need to click on to continue it brings you up to our delivery options we're now on the fourth stage of this order the fourth and final stage so here you can see that delivery will be between two certain dates and then express delivery will show you when it will be delivered. Standard delivery is free on orders over £30. And if it's an additional order, it will be £1.50. Express delivery is £5. Now you can see here on your subtotal how much your order is going to be. This pink is the total number of sales you've got for this campaign. Obviously, it's charging me a delivery fee for this because I've only added a couple of items on there for the purposes of the training video. So once you're happy with all of this page, you know you've got the right quantities. You can then again see that your brochure price is what your customer's putting on the order form. Once all that is correct and you know it's 100% fine, you click the green Submit Your Order to Avon. You will then receive an email confirmation letting you know that your order has been submitted. If for any reason you don't see that, you can click back to your home page at the top here and then go on to order tracking. That order tracking will then allow you to see all of your orders that have gone through and any subsequent invoices. I hope this has helped everybody and if you need any more help or information, please contact your team lead.